Well, I got me brew, and it's time for a review. Let's get an old swig of this. Cheers. Ah. So, today we are looking at the Hasbro Proton Gun 1984 version. They came out with a Spengler one there a couple of years ago. So, I'd like to give a shout out to Dermot Kiernan of Ghostbusters Dublin. I've been meaning to do a HasLab Proton Pack review for like two years now. <laughs> I'm going to get around to it today. We're going to connect this thing up. So, we'll do like a two for one. But yeah, please go visit Ghostbusters Dublin. They do some great videos over there and have some really good content and, you know, some great builds with their Proton Packs. So, I'd like to see the progress. And hopefully see a, a nice Frozen Empire build. And uh, I'll definitely get some tips on how to upgrade my HasLab that way. So, let's get into it. Let's open her up. So, first of all, I just took the middle part off. And I can see that Walter Peck has gotten his grubby little hands all over the Ghostbusters franchise already. So, let's see what that Peck has done. Now, finally got her out of the box. And um, I have to say, the look of it is nice. It's decent. It looks good. But in hand, it I tell you, it feels really plasticky compared to the Spangler one. Like the Spangler one, you could actually batter somebody with that. It's like a like it's like a baseball bat. It's hefty. It's a bit a bit of a bit of girth in it, you know. But um, this one feels a little bit more plasticky. Unfortunately, I was hoping for more weight to it since it's uh, old school but it does look the part um, there's no point me showing you all the bit of ass you know what let's turn it on anyway because uh, they're all exactly the same the Spengler one there's uh, nothing new nothing extra added unfortunately still all the video game sounds which are not canon by the way <laughs> of course it bloody is that's the true third film <laughs> each to their own huh but um, yeah, let's hook this up to the HasLab Proton Pack. Actually, we'll do a comparison to the old Spangler one when we have it. Now, we have our HasLab all hooked up to our Spangler wand at the moment. But uh, we're just doing a little comparison. Let's switch it on for now. Keep it nice and quiet because it's a very loud Proton Pack up close and personal. But as you can see, there's only, there's a, well, there's a few changes to the wand. They both have those horrible orange tips, unfortunately. But yeah, a few changes, but all the bells and whistles are exactly the same. Um, so it really comes out to preference. Do you want it looking more like the original 1984, or you like the old Spengler ones? So let's just... You know, they really missed an opportunity. They should have had something extra with the uh, 1984 ones, other than just the uh, the grips and a few different colour changes. It would have been cool if there was a cross the streams feature like we did with Mattel's ones. That was pretty cool. But we're going to hook her up to the old uh, Hasbro Proton Pack and we're going to see how she looks. So, now we have our 1984 ones connected to our Spengler pack and yeah it looks the dog's bollocks I'm not gonna lie but I, I like the Spengler one as well it really doesn't matter to me uh, they both look great but as for the old Haslab pack I tell you this came out a couple of years ago and it, it's without a doubt the best fecking pack you can get out there Um, you know you could go to your prop builders and all that stuff but for the amount of bells, bells and whistles you get with this one straight out of the box and it's so easy to customise now I have an effecting clue when it comes to customisation but there's a lot of kits out there on Etsy, Ebay that simply just plug and play so if you're on the fence of getting this Proton Pack don't be this is the one to go for 100% if you have a chance to buy one get one and out of all the features, this is by uh, by far the best. 
How cool is that? You would shit yourself if you had no idea what, what the proton pack was. You're walking around a cover gun with it on. Uh. But um, yeah, awesome piece of equipment. And uh, Ghostbusters Dublin was the first to get theirs, which is amazing. I'm so, so shocked that the Irish finally got something before everybody else. It's beautiful. So I'm just hoping to get my trap and PKE meter first as well. So we'll get an overview, and I guarantee that won't take uh, nearly two years to get out. I'll be too excited. So peace out, GB fans. Thanks for watching. I uh, appreciate all the likes and shares, and by all means, uh, drop me an old comment uh, if there's anything you would like me to review, or if you want my opinion on the recent movies. <laughs> Uh, by all means, I'll uh, uh, try to accommodate everybody. But uh, yeah, thanks for dropping by the Facebook page and the YouTube channel. I appreciate you all. Peace out, GB fans. See you later.